For this problem, we're being asked to solve for x, and since the equation has some fractions in it, I'm going to give you two strategies for how to solve this equation. For our first strategy, I'm going to take the equation as it is, 16 over 9 equals 4x, and we know we need to get the x by itself. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 over 1x. So I'm kind of embracing the idea of fractions by making the numbers in here all fractions. And what that will then allow me to do is to get rid of a fraction that's a coefficient in front of the x, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So I can multiply by 1 over 4. And then on the right hand side, multiplying by 1 over 4 means on the left hand side we multiply by 1 over 4. On the right the 4's cancel and the 1's cancel leaving me with just the x. On the left hand side I can do some cross canceling before I multiply 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 16 4 times so if I multiply the tops now I can get 4 times 1 is 4, multiplying the bottoms, 1 times 9 is 9. So we have a solution, 4 over 9. But I said I was going to give you two strategies for this problem. So for that second strategy, I'm starting off with the same setup, 16 over 9 equals 4x. But instead of embracing the idea of those fractions, I'm going to try to just get rid of the fractions from the beginning. So if I have an equation that has fractions, I can multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator to get rid of the fractions. And since I only have one denominator, I can multiply both sides by that denominator, which is 9. Multiplying both sides by 9. On the left-hand side, the 9's cancel leaving me with just the 16. And on the right hand side there's nothing there to cancel so I just have 9 times 4 times x so that's going to give me a 36x. So with this strategy we actually get rid of the fractions in the first step. And then to finish solving I do need to get the x by itself so I'm now dividing by 36 on the right hand side to get rid of the 36 which I have to do the same thing to the left hand side and then the 36's will cancel leaving me with the X by itself however the fraction on the left hand side will need to be reduced and both the 16 and the 36 are divisible by 4 so if I divide the 16 by 4 I get 4 and divide the 36 by 4, I'll get 9. So that fraction ends up being 4 over 9. So either one of these strategies yielded the same answer, 4 ninths. The first way, we kind of make everything fractions so that we can deal with our rules for fractions. And the second way, we actually get rid of the fractions by multiplying through both sides by the lowest common denominator.